That would be uh, <laughs> that question on that headline that just came up. Could Trump trip up the GOP? I think is. You can make a lot of establishment one. people very nervous. Uh, John Meacham uh, has come down from the Meacham Tower. Yes. He'll be writing his book on President Trump soon enough. Um, <laughs> But uh, there are, though, uh, throughout history, uh, bigger-than-life people, colorful people that go out and actually make a splash on the stage. There are. I mean, Perot is the great example, uh, where you had a billionaire with a populist message. Uh, that was a different year, it seems to me, um, and you had someone, his celebrity came not really from the entertainment complex as much as from the business complex. Perot came from this kind of straight-talking Western thing. Um, you know, the, the pattern here is populist candidates burn really brightly and then the major parties figure out what's working in the message and they take it and they incorporate it and the populist candidate flames off. With yeah, Ro Ross Perot was the best example in 92. R Ross Perot was a much more substantive example too. He actually raised some specific ideas that, that generated other people to think about those ideas. Can we stipulate for the purposes of this conversation that Donald Trump will never be president of the United States? That, yes. his, that, that, his, that his lethal danger to the Republican Party, we just showed it, and we're in on well, it. We just gave him five minutes. Five minutes. Then why are you, then, then I'm not sure, you know what? We just gave him five minutes when Jeb Bush, didn't he announce? Let's ask Michael Steele. What do you think? Latest addition to uh, the Republican field, Michael. Well, all I can say is I've got my popcorn and my lounge chair, and I'm ready. This is going to be 